My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how to's, and reviews. And in today's video, we'll be doing an unboxing of some work boots. Uh, so uh, we've done previous work boot videos. We'll do a compare and contrast. I talk about the good and the bad, and uh, we'll do an initial unboxing. Let's open up this box and see what we got inside. I'm going to be opening this from the bottom since I've got my postage on the top. Kujo Yardware. So this box is, fills the full width size of the box. This one's a little bit smaller. Okay, what's inside? Sticker, it looks like. Oh, sticker in each box. Got a pair of boots. Pair of shoes. Okay, so here's the back to on this. I've been watching the landscape industry for a long time now with these Kuja Yard shoes. Everyone says they're awesome, waterproof, all that. Um, but I'm a work boot kind of guy. I actually prefer hiking boots um, because of their lightness, their flexibility, and everything goes with that. So I've, I've been wanting to get these, but haven't been able to pull the trigger on them. And then they came out with this new work boot. If you haven't listened to a podcast, uh, Foolish and Unfiltered, uh, same guy that does uh, Brian's Lawn Maintenance, did a podcast uh, interview with, with the owner of this company talking about their uh, their story and their shoe production. Um, you know, great American story on uh, going from nothing to something. And I think it's really cool what they're bringing to the industry. I'm excited to try these out. Obviously, I've never worn these. Um, I ordered these on the website and um, they shipped out pretty quick. So uh, this is a brand new boot from them. Uh, just barely came out. So it uh, should be one of the first uh, unboxing reviews on this boot. And uh, I'm really excited about that. This does have a composite safety toe, which for me is a, a little bit of a disappointment. I do not like the safety toes. I, I probably should be wearing one in some of the stuff that I do, working around equipment. Um, but I, I've just had bad experiences with how the flex is up by the toe plate and uh, the, the weight and a few other things, um, you know, separation here uh, with the waterproofing and all that. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing how this safety toe does uh, in contrast to my experiences in the past. Uh, it might push me back into wearing a safety toe, which, which like I said, is probably smarter for what I do working around uh, mini excavators, skid steers, uh, and, and different types of heavy equipment like that. These are both um, the black in color. I think this is the only coloring offering on the boot for now. They do have uh, at least two, if not three or four colors on the shoe. Um, and I chose to go with the, the black and green. Um, we'll see how it uh, does in the, in the dirt and the dust as far as uh, keeping the color down. Um, usually I kind of go with a, a tan or a gray, um, but I, you know, I kind of like these. The other options are like they have like a bright green, I think, and I'm just not a big flashy type shoe person, so that's why I went with this. As far as the tread pattern on the bottom, yeah, we are identical on the, the soles. Oh, so I did go, they recommend going a half a size larger with the boot uh, because the toe, um, the boot's the same size, so this is an 11 and a half. The boot's the same size as 11 and a half, but the, the safety toe pushes in your foot size a little bit smaller, so. Um, I'm normally an 11 uh, in a shoe, so I, I got an 11 shoe, and then I'm normally an 11 and a half in boots whenever I wear boots. So there is what I chose to go with. I will uh, give additional feedback on the fitment, and then obviously I'll do a long-term review video on how well these hold up in the harsh environments that I work in. So another thing that I choose when I pick out shoes, uh, well specifically boots for work, is I always like having boots that have these hooks on here. Um, and I tend to use just the lower one. Uh, these are a little bit higher top than what I normally go with. I probably go with a mid-rise. And I love having the hooks because I tie my shoes, I double knot my shoelaces, and then I just unhook this loop and then rehook it on. So they're, they're quick on and off shoes for me uh, by using that. And that's just the habits that I have formed over the years. Um, I do not like tying shoes every morning. Um, I think it's a waste of time. So uh, that's how I work it out. And then as far as break-in, I will be wearing these today. 
Um, but I always bring my old pair of shoes with me even though they're getting pretty worn out because uh, the last thing you want is to wear a pair of shoes like this all day long and until they're broken in. Um, so midway through the day I'll probably switch these out to my old shoes until these are broken in. Oops, we also got another pair of laces in here. So we've got a more bright green lace to go with these. We have laces in here. Oh, we do, we do have the black laces. So um, that is nice. Sometimes I've found that I burn through laces before I burn through shoes and um, that will be nice to have an extra pair of laces. Um, speaking of laces, um, these work boots look like they have a little bit better lace, a little bit more of what I'm used to. It's kind of got more of a round, uh, firm texture, and these are kind of more of a, a folded over, uh, less sturdy, if you will. I guess we can look at the tag. This is their X1 landscape boot, composite safety toe, and then we've got um, all their different features here. You can pause the video and read if you like. And as far as the shoe goes, Here's um, their intended purposes. So we've got all the different business types that they recommend. And then also all of their different features. Here's a fun little piece of marketing underneath their boot, you open it up. We know they look stunning, but it's okay to get them dirty. That's what they're made for. Here we have the Kudra Yard shoe, and here's the X1 landscape boot. Uh, worn these both a few days, and this is my first initial impressions. Um, my impressions are I would not have bought these if they were in-store. When I purchase shoes from in-store, I'm buying shoes that are the most comfortable on an initial first try um, and not really based on a long-term durability standpoint or um, you know really how well they're going to last, like I said, long-term, um, but it's really just off that first impression. So uh, whether it's tires, like we do uh, tire reviews on the channel, or shoes, um, the initial impressions really don't mean a whole lot other than it makes you want to buy the shoes from the get-go. So uh, neither one of these were very comfortable. Uh, when I first tried them on, there were certain pressure points throughout the shoes. Um, but I'm really hoping that over time that they break in. I think with the world, the way it's going, um, we're going to have more online shopping. And this is one of the disadvantages is you don't really get a chance to, to try them on and figure out what you like in store. You're going to have to buy something and go off on a faith effort, go off on honest reviews like we have here on YouTube and hopefully that helps you out. So um, obviously this is my initial impressions. We will do a future follow-up video on how well they broke in actually, you know, maybe six months, a year down the road. And um, we'll see how they do. Um, already after wearing them for a few days, they're getting more comfortable, More my feet are getting more used to them, they're more, more broken in, and really they're gonna have to form to my feet in order to fit. So one thing I talked about in this video is the fact that um, I keep my shoes tied. Um, so we will go ahead and exchange these. So you can see here on these, uh, the yard shoe, you have to unlace them obviously. But here on the boot, we've just got, I just pull these up tight, pull them up, do a half a turn, hook on the one side, hook on the other side, and they are good to go. So uh, that's kind of the way I run these shoes. Um, first impressions on the landscape boots, they're a little bit on the heavy side. Honestly, these Cujo Yard shoes are a little bit overbuilt tennis shoe, and they're pretty in line with the weight of my hiking boots that I prefer and uh, have always used. And, and the landscape boot, as I thought they might be, is a little bit heavier, and I'm sure a lot of the reason for that is also the heavier construction, but that composite steel toe, like I said, I usually go with a hiking boot uh, just to reduce weight and also breathability. Uh, while well, we're talking about breathability, first impressions, they are hotter than my hiking boots. Uh, keep in mind my hiking boots are at the end of their life cycle and they've got uh, a few additional air vents uh, down in the lower area where they've ripped and torn and um, they're definitely not waterproof uh, anymore. Uh, my old shoes I should say. These shoes have not really tested out waterproofness. Um, these are waterproof up to about this point and I believe we've got this air pocket up front here as well as we've got some breathing pockets on the back here. So uh, as far as water intrusions, uh, these are not gonna be really fully submersible shoes. Uh, you can walk into a puddle an inch or two deep. And uh, other than that, you're, you're just trying to keep off that dew and, and other moisture like that. So uh, first impressions, uh, been pretty impressed with the build quality, the durability, and um, still gonna have to take the time to break them in. That's one thing that has not occurred yet. So uh, there's your quick uh, review and initial impressions. Well, thanks for watching this review on this Cujo yard shoe and landscape boot. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Have you tried out Cujo shoes? Uh, let me know what your experience has been, how long do they last. Um, usually it takes me about six months to burn through a pair of boots or shoes. So we'll see how it does for me. 
Uh, leave any questions or comments down below, and obviously subscribe so you can see the follow-up video on these shoes and see how long they last. Thanks for watching Thrifty Garage, and we'll see you on the next one. Blah, 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 blah. Go away. I hate long wing guys. I've never done that in my life.